Hello! Welcome to the backlog. We are two brothers who have a big, fat, stinking, stupid collection of games we're going to see here and we're going to talk about. Every game we've ever bought gets put into an Excel spreadsheet that we use for cataloging our big, fat, stinking, stupid collection of games. And today, we're going to pick one at random and talk about it regardless of whether or not we've played it. This episode, we are at the Video Game Trading Post on Long Island. Yes, the best retro gaming store on the island. If you ever find yourself in the Nassau County area, and you need yourself a retro game, a retro game accessory, or even a retro game system, this is the place to come to, my friends. Number 241. Two, four, one. At least is it's not a mobile game. Star Fox 64 for the Nintendo 64. All right, this is a good it's one. It's a classic. <coughs> Sorry. It's such a classic, it gives <laughs> Bob lung cancer. It's a good game. Yes, it's... One of the best one N64 of the best games. N64 games. The best Star Fox game, which apparently is a point of contention. Well, let's... There's really... You're really only picking between two games. What two? The original and this. No, no. People really like Star Fox Assault for some reason. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. Really? Yes. Star Fox fans are all about that. Really? Yeah. So Assault... Really? What's the other one? Adventure. 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 One, uh, okay, I'm sorry. One of those two... Star Fox fans are really Furries into. Furries love adventure. Furries love adventure. Wait, wait. Star Fox right. Adventure is the like the Zelda type one where you're out of the ship and you're exploring the dinosaur right. planet. I don't think it's that one. I think Assault is the one that Star Fox fans like. Well, no, St Assault is that DS? That's Star Fox Command. Yeah, yeah no, Star Command. No, nobody likes Star Command. Fox Assault. Is the N is the GameCube game that's like Rebel Strike where you can get out of the ship. I don't know. No, it it has a bad score. Yeah. But people really like that. Star Fox fans really like. Well, I think Tim's right though. The furries like. The furries like adventure. adventure. So fan Star Fox fans might like that game. Maybe. A lot of people buy Assault. Yeah. Yeah. I Star think... Fox fan. Star Fox fans are weird, is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. 64 is the best Star Fox game. Period. It's hands down, without me, question. Because like I know like uh, Adventure has their fa has its fans. Like that's some people say it's a good game. I'm not here to contest that. Assault is a half good game and a half bad game. Which means it's a bad game. Command <laughs> on the DS was like, okay, whatever. And the Star Fox Zero was bad. Um, it was um, very unfortunate. Yeah. So I, th I always thought like the only two in question was the, the original and 64. And the 64 one is basically just a remake of the first one. Yes. Of the first Star Fox. Yeah. It's, it's, it has basically all the same stuff. Yeah. Just remade, just the remade, N64. and done better. Star Fox is weird. They keep pretending like the other games didn't happen. Yeah, and they just like uh, Zero is like kind of a remake of yeah. 64, but like not really. Um, but 64 is really good. Yes, the 64 is like my favorite, and we, I think a lot of people's favorite. We were talking about this before how uh, they made Star Fox 2, mm -hmm. which was good, but they decided to scrap it because the N64 was coming out, and they yeah. would rather release a game. On the new hardware, yeah. So they just took Star Fox One and redid it for Star for and, and N64. I think, and and I think it, it was worth it because you know it was it's you know it's technically an on rail shooter, but like they added so much to it. They added the all range mode where you can just fly around the level like pretty open and attack. They added the the Landmaster tank, which was fun. They added uh, the submarine, which you know typically like the underwater missions are terrible, but I liked them in here. Because it, it like it added an element of horror to it, because like you were underwater, you weren't sure what was happening. It was kind of scary. It was just it wasn't mechanically any different being in the uh, being in the submarine. Yeah. Because it's the same thing. You're just yeah. You're still going forward, mm -hmm. and you still have the same range of motion. Yeah. So it's it was but the, like same. It, the atmosphere around it. Yeah. The what, atmosphere what was did it. Yeah. The tank levels were good. Yeah. The tank levels were very good. Uh, a lot of people don't talk about the multiplayer in this game. Yeah. That's very fun. It was fun. And one of the cool things about it is, like, you can play, like, the Landmaster, the, the R-Wing, uh, something else, and you can fight on foot, which is, like, strange, but, like, also kind of fun. Like, yeah, you can be, being, like, one guy. Being can... Fox McCloud taking out, like, R-Wings and stuff. That was cool. Yeah, one guy who's like, I'm too good at this game. Yeah. I'll just be the on-foot guy. Yeah. Um... So the game is actually relatively short. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Like a half an hour? To, like, yeah. Beat the whole thing? I mean, it's as long as you want it to be. I would the, say. There's the different paths. And yeah. You you the game is meant for you to replay it over and over again. Yeah. And uh, it's really good because of that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's as hard and as long as you want it to be. Like 
The, yeah, you know. Yeah, it. yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the easiest example of it is in the first mission, Falco is being attacked, and you have to try and save him. If you don't, the game continues on as normal, and he comes back in a later mission. Um, but if you do save him, you go down a different path, and the game is like slightly longer because of it. So like all these little things you do in the game, like your decisions and your actions in it matter, yeah. and it will take you on different. Uh, take you to different planets and take you to different missions. You also have a, a choice after you beat one of the levels to pick yeah. a, a, a different planet to go to. Yeah. Uh, you get like a little star map. Yeah. It's 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 a fun game to play over and over again. Absolutely. And they remade it for the the, the DS the, and it was They uh, remade it for the 3DS. 3DS yeah. yeah. And it was equally as fun, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, no, absolutely. Um, it's I mean, it's got, you know, great levels. It's got great characters. Yep. So, um, you know, your team of um, Falco, Slippy, and Peppy. I mean, yeah, Slippy is annoying, but, you know, it's, it wouldn't be Star Fox I mean, without him. That's part of it, though, is like every yeah. level, Fox, help me! Help me! And you don't want to, so you yeah. let him die, and then you don't have to deal with him yeah. anymore. <laughs> it's great. And that You have that good dynamic. You also have Falco, who's like, I don't need any help. Because I should be thankful. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Peppy is like, like the old guy yeah. on the team. You know. Of course, telling you how to do all your moves. He worked with Fox's dad, right? Yeah, yeah. James McLeod. Yeah. There's a yeah. lore. There's a whole yeah, lore there's to a whole it. lore backstory to it, and it's awesome. And, you know, and of course, there's Star Wolf, all the bad guys, Wolf, o Wolf O'Donnell, Pigma, the Great Leon. It, Star Fox is a really cool world and franchise. Yes. And I understand why Star Fox fans are all about it, but it's unfortunate that they've never been able to make a good game no. since. It's kind of like we were talking about with Shinobi. You know, there yeah. are like a couple of like good ones, but then like after that, like nothing. But this is Nintendo. You'd think they know. It's true. You know, yeah. you think they Nintendo is the type to of company something. where like they, if they screw up a game once, they take a very long break to try and figure out how to make it right. Like they did it with Metroid. You know, but like they haven't been able to do that with Star Fox. I remember playing Star Fox Zero at E3, mm -hmm. and that's the one on the Wii. We yeah. didn't, we don't we didn't buy it, so it's not on. Here. Yeah. Uh, it's on the Wii U. Yeah. And use the gamepad to aim. And on the demo kiosks, I was like this, like moving yeah. it around. To aim. And you see the cockpit from uh, the the cockpit is on the Wii U screen, and the 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 ship is on the big screen. Yeah. Uh, so you have to move and dodge bullets up here, but you aim down here. So you're constantly looking back and forth. And when I was done, the lady, the Nintendo rep, was like, "Oh, how did you think of it?" And I was like, "Those motion controls were really bad." Yeah. <laughs> like. I wish there was a way to calibrate it, you know, differently. And she's like, oh, there is. I like, oh, well, you should have told me that. Yeah. But I was really hoping they'd disable, or they'd give you an option to dis disable most of the controls when the game came out, and they mm -hmm. didn't do that. Yeah. That game would have been good if it didn't have most yeah. controls. But they they screwed it up. And that game got terrible reviews, and now we're never going to see a Star Fox yeah. game again, it, it, basically. Yeah, it really sucks, because, you know, based on Star Fox 64 alone, this is a franchise that, like, needs to be on, like, every Nintendo system. Star Fox is going to be known as the guy from Smash Brothers. That's sad. Yeah. Yeah. That is very sad. Especially to, you know, kids who yeah. grew up after the N64 era. Mm -hmm. That's how they're going to know him. Yeah. Just like Cap uh, Captain Falcon is the guy from Smash Brothers, yeah. not the guy from F-Zero. Sad world we live in today. Yep. Again, one of the best N64 games. Absolutely. Uh, we bought this later because we used to always rent it. We did. Yeah, we did buy it later, um, and it was worth it. You know, we played it however many times renting it, and then, like, it's just that a game like, you want to play over and over again till the day you die, <laughs> because I, it's that's good. Did I buy it after the 3DS version? I think I did. I don't think so. Oopsies. I did recently play this game with a couple of friends a while back, because my one friend has his N64 still hooked up, and it, it's, it's still great. Yeah. It really is. Like, I mean, it's going to look terrible on an HDTV, because... Probably one of the best aged N64 games. Absolutely. Because there's not a lot mechanically to there's go There's not wrong. a lot of like uh, movements. Like yeah. you're mostly going like, you know, on the X and Y axis. Even in all range mode, you're not like doing any like sharp turns or precision platforming or anything like that. So yeah, definitely plays just as good now as it did then. Now I know I'm gonna get some crap because you said that this is an on rail shooter and it is. But would you say it's more or less on rails than Pokemon Snap? Oh boy. Pokemon Snap, you're literally on you rails. You are literally on rails. 
it's less on rails because they have all range mode. Yeah, and that you can you can go like this. Yeah. In Pokemon Snap, you can't move. Yeah. And that game sucks, but we'll get to that <laughs> if we ever get to it. What do you guys think about <laughs> what do you guys think about uh, Star Fox 64? Did you play it? Do you think it's the best Star Fox game? Of course you do, because you're a smart person. Unless you're well, a furry. Unless you're a furry. Which, hey, there's nothing, wrong, nothing with that, wrong with that, but you like crappy Star Fox yeah. games. <laughs> Let us know down below or anywhere on the internet if you're a furry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and make sure you subscribe to see more episodes of this show's backlog. See you later. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.